off all cell phones and other electronic devices. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2024 Spirit of Hope Awards Ceremony. Please stand for the arrival of the official party. Please remain standing for the invocation by Pastor John B. Sorry, John P. Goodlow, Sr. of the Armed Forces Retirement Home in Washington, D.C. I'm asking, please, that uh, as we pray, because we are in a nation of diverse uh, individuals and groups that are different from one another, that as we pray, you will also pray in the tradition that is yours, as I do so in mine. Shall we? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Sovereign God, you are so wonderful unto us. And as we come in this ceremony in which we recognize those achievements of persons who have realized what the reason for their being is, we pray, God, that you would have your perfect and holy way and will in us, doing for us, Master, please, what needs to be done. We surrender our will to your will, even as you have continued to do so, even surrendering your will to your Father. We honor you in this. We believe you, O oh God, in this. And in the spirit of hope, one of anticipation and one that says it must occur and that which is beyond what folks have said is possible. We invoke your presence, helping us to do that which is so necessary in spreading hope. We trust you for this. We believe you, God, for this. And we thank you. We're asking, Father, that you would allow the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts to be acceptable in your sight, for you are indeed our strength and our Redeemer. And we pray your blessings upon the recipients and those who so valiantly recognized these recipients. And we say thank you. In the tradition that is mine, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let us all say amen. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Jennifer C. Walsh, Performing Improvement Officer and Director of Administration and Management. Good morning. Good morning. Great day to be in the Hall of Heroes and a really great occasion to bring together phenomenal teammates. It's my pleasure to welcome you here and to honor the recipients of the Spirit of Hope Award. Duty, honor, courage, loyalty, commitment, integrity, and selfless dedication. These are the values epitomized by Bob Hope and our integral considerations in the award nomination and decision process for this Spirit of Hope Award for the Department of Defense. This award recognizes 
DOD team members who embody through their actions, above and beyond their assigned jobs and duty hours, to do for others, and specifically, to enhance the quality of life of service members and their families. Bob Hope invested his time, his talents, and his resources to these ends. I grew up watching Bob Hope television specials oriented around visiting service members, serving overseas and sometimes on the seas. Television can make us believe all sorts of things, but I always understood and felt that Bob Hope's support to and advocacy for service members and their families was genuine. He didn't just talk about it, he did it. From a place of respect, honor, and appreciation, and a desire to do something for those who give so much and give up so much in service of the nation, Bob Hope is a symbol of hope, truly, for so many. And it's a particular honor for me to be here today to celebrate and recognize colleagues who in the spirit of Bob Hope also have given and continue to give of themselves above and beyond their professional responsibilities to make meaningful contributions to our military colleagues and their families. And while not a Spirit of Hope recipient today, our keynote speaker is a team member and leader who demonstrates the values of selfless dedication, duty, integrity, and commitment. We are really pleased to have today, and I'm honored to welcome to the podium, the Acting Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness, the Honorable Ashis Fazirani. Good morning. It's an honor to be here today. Jennifer, thank you for that very kind introduction. And Pastor Goodlow, thank you for those very inspiring words and spreading the spirit of hope. We're here today to honor the selfless contributions of six individuals in one organization who embody the values of honor, courage, loyalty, commitment, integrity, and selfless dedication. And you'll hear those words a number of times this morning but most importantly, you will meet the people who embody those values. And as Ms. Walsh indicated, these are the values that are the core to the Spirit of Hope Awards, and they define Bob Hope and his lifelong engagement with our troops. While many may remember him as an entertainer, Bob Hope was a special friend to the military for most of his life. On a personal note, my dad, who served in Vietnam, had the good fortune to be in the presence of Bob Hope when he entertained the troops there. Bob Hope was offered a commission during World War II, but President Franklin Delano Roosevelt intervened, realizing he had a special touch with our service members. He entertained, he entertained troops on USO tours from 1941 to 1991, 50 years of laughter and fun from World War II to Vietnam, to Desert Storm, Bob Hope was there for our nation's heroes. As Bob Hope said of his experience with our troops, I was there. I saw your sons and your husbands, your brothers and your sweethearts. I saw how they worked, played, fought, and lived. I saw some of them die. I saw more courage more good humor in the face of discomfort, more love in an era of hate, and more devotion to duty than could exist under tyranny. Honor, courage, loyalty, commitment, integrity, selfless dedication. These are the key values of the Spirit of Hope Awards, and they are helpful guides for anyone wanting to live a purposeful and productive life. Honor, always ask yourself what is right. Define what matters to you most and stick to those principles. Courage, 
Defining your core principles as an individual is one thing, but sticking to them in the face of adversity is another. Courage requires us to push through uncomfortable or even dangerous situations in service of a guiding belief. Loyalty. Loyalty is one of the strongest ties that bind. At its core, loyalty is a recognition of the fact that we can't do big or great things without collaboration and trust in one another. Commitment. Long after World War II ended, Bob Hope continued to entertain troops at home and abroad for the rest of his life. In our line of work, we sometimes manage initiatives with long time horizons. It can be difficult, but we all know that the fruits of that commitment, of what the fruits of that commitment can bear. Integrity. There are many seeds of doubt that could make us question our guiding beliefs and core principles. Especially in our work, unswervingly sticking to our principles critical, is critical given the potentially far-reaching impacts. Selfless dedication. The old poem is true. No man or woman is an island. Our lives' fulfillment and our sense of purpose are greatly enhanced when we focus our energy on the betterment of other people's lives. I'm honored to be in the company of individuals who fully embody these values. They would have made Bob Hope proud. Award recipients carry on the legacy left by Bob Hope in serving those who protect our nation, whether that was engaging 16,000 participants in the run for the fallen to pay homage, or distributing more than 50 million in assistance to members of the Coast Guard affected during a government shutdown, or helping Gold Star families secure assistance when they needed it. On behalf of the Department of Defense, I thank our recipients and all of you for your efforts to improve the lives of our men and women in uniform. Thank you very much. We will now begin the recognition portion of today's ceremony. Every year, the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, Coast Guard, and the Office of the Secretary of Defense nominate one individual or organization whose patriotism and service to members of the United States Armed Forces reflects the patriotism and service of Mr. Bob Hope. The men and women we honor today contributed an extraordinary amount of time, talent, and resources to, the significantly, or to significantly enhance the quality of life of service members and their families serving around the world. We begin now by recognizing Mr. Charles J. Zarambo from the Office of the Secretary of Defense. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the Office of the Secretary of Defense is Brigadier General Landis C. Maddox, Commander, Defense Logistics Agency Troop Support. Congratulations to Mr. Charles J. Zarambo. We now recognize from the Department of the Army the North Country Troopers Assisting Troops. Representing this organization will be Mr. Adam Swenson. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the Department of the Army is Colonel Matthew R. Meyer, Garrison Commander, Fort Drum, New York. Congratulations, the North Country Troopers Assisting Troops. We will now recognize support 
Lieutenant Aaron Kowalczyk from the Department of the Navy. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the United States Navy is Dr. Maya Hurley, Director of the Office of Force Resiliency, the United States Navy. Congratulations to Lieutenant Aaron Kowalczyk. You gotta recognize that promotion. Yes. Lieutenant <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Commander, excuse me. We now recognize Mr. Paul D. Williamson from the United States Marine Corps. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the United States Marine Corps is, is the Dr. Maya Hurley, Director of the Office of Force Resiliency, the United States Navy. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Paul D. Williamson. We now recognize Technical Sergeant Derek J. Gibson from the United States Air Force. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the United States Air Force is Major General Michelle C. Edmondson, Special Assistant to the United States Air Force, Director of Staff, Headquarters, United States Air Force. Congratulations to Technical Sergeant Derek J. Gibson. We now recognize Technical Sergeant Monica A. Luna from the United States Space Force. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the United States Space Force is Major General Steve Whitney, Director of Staff, Headquarters, U.S. Space Force. Congratulations to Technical Sergeant Monica A. Luna. We now recognize Rear Admiral Carrie B. Thomas from the United States Coast Guard. Presenting the Spirit of Hope Award on behalf of the United States Coast Guard is Admiral Kevin E. Lunday, Vice Commandant, the United States Coast Guard. Congratulations to Rear Admiral Kerry B. Thomas. The Spirit of Hope Award is an emblem of character, integrity, and statesmanship. The seven honorees that we recognize today join in a special fraternity. They exemplify the ideals of Mr. Hope, and in doing so, they carry out his legacy. And in doing so, they do here as excuse me, a legacy of service to our great nation. These men and women epitomize the values of Mr. Hope: honor, courage, loyalty, commitment, integrity, and selfless dedication. Ladies and gentlemen, please give our seven honorees a round of applause. Now at this time, we would like all, uh, all of the honorees to return to the front of the stage for a group photo with the Honorable Ashish S. Vazirani and Ms. Walsh.
Okay, and turn to the side. <laughs> a little tighter, a little closer. Okay. Can you shift to the right a little bit? One step to the right. There you go. There you go. There you go. Doing good. There you go. Yeah. Hey, perfect. <laughs> One, two, three. Hold on again, hold on again. One, two, three. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Ms. Jennifer C. Walsh, Performance Improvement Officer and Director of Administration and Management. All right, I wish we had time that we could read the nominations because what y'all have done, what you continue to do is truly inspiring. I hope that today is a platform for greater awareness for what you are already doing, but also as a point of inspiration and a point of departure for other members of our Department of Defense team and for Americans across the country to realize the need, to realize the opportunity, and not just read about it, but do something about it. Y'all are leaders of doing. It doesn't stop here. I look forward to watching and reading and hopefully being able to help you continue to do what you're doing in support of our service members and their families and our entire DOD community. It matters, what you've done matters, and you matter. Thank you so much. Um, I am so honored to be here with you today. I have read your stories, and I hope that others are going to get the opportunity to read about what you've done as well. I'm honored to be part of your team. Thank you all for joining today. Um, we look forward to uh, getting a few minutes, perhaps afterwards, to share some stories uh, with our recipients today. And certainly, I hope you all are as inspired as I am to, to leave today and think about what more you can do. Thank you. Please stand for the blessing by Pastor John P. Goodlow, Sr. of the Armed Forces Retirement Home in Washington, D.C. Our recipients indeed inspired all of us, as Mrs. Walsh mentioned. And what we need to do is to say to those who have received these awards to continue doing what you have done, and not only to continue, but also to continue to inspire others. Shall we pray, please? Lord, you have blessed in such a tremendous way and we're thankful for that which you have allowed us to experience. Even as has been spoken, we look forward to hearing what wonderful things have occurred in the lives of those who have received these awards that bespeak the character and the commitment of Bob Hope. We pray continually for them, and we ask, O oh God, that your perfect holy way and will be done in their lives as they continue in doing what led them to this point. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, 
both now and ever, in that which is holy, Jesus, shall we all say amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. This concludes the 2024 Spirit of Hope Awards ceremony. Guests are welcome to congratulate the honorees in front of the stage. The receiving line will begin to the right of the stage. Thank you.